Creating a script in the Keynote Kite Recorder is very straightforward and simple. Once you have Kite open, go up to the top left corner and click on one of the icons for the services. I'm going to select TXP, which is our real browser monitor. When you click the icon, you'll get a prompt to start at a specific web URL. I'm just going to type www.whitehouse.gov. Click the OK button. That will bring up a record window. And this is an instance of Internet Explorer. Once the page loads, then you can navigate your way through the site, clicking on whatever clicks you want to capture to build your script. So I might mouse over this uh, menu item here and click on the executive branch. And then the pages continue loading and I can click my way through the site. I'll go ahead and click one more link. As I'm clicking, see over on the left side, Kite is capturing every click as a new action. So once I've recorded all the clicks I want, I can go ahead and in the top left corner of my record window, I can click on the stop button. Okay, now that I've done that, I've captured a basic script. What I can do now is modify the script if I need to, or I can play back the script and save the file locally first with uh, whatever browser I choose up top here. I've got Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome to choose from. So I'll go ahead and play this one in Internet Explorer. Kite asked me if I want to save the file. You don't have to do that. I'm going to click No this time. And then again, we bring up the browser window for playback. And now Kite will drive us through those uh, page clicks all by itself. And this is our synthetic visit to the website. Obviously the same pages load and the clicks are happening through the DOM. So our engine drives the visit by clicking those links via the browser's DOM. So there's our third page. When we finish, the kite will show you a list of, of all the elements that loaded in every page, as well as a summary at the bottom left corner here that explains network times for each page and then object count. On the right side, you've got a summary of every object that loaded, and you can select any one of those, and we bring up HTTP header information and preview images for GIFs or JPEGs that were loaded as well. You can double-click that and see a certain image. This is a background JPEG. So once you've done all that, the next thing you can do is save your script, which I'll do. Just save, save it locally here. Call that White House Script. And I'll put that on my desktop. Once I've saved my script, now I've got a local file I can open again and play later. And there's my White House script on the desktop. Thank you for watching.